The cakewalk was a dance developed by enslaved people in the U.S. It looked something like this. They were mimicking the formality of their white slaveholders. See, these enslaved folks would serve food and drinks and watch their wealthy masters put on airs at cotillions and formal balls, and then they'd get together in their quarters after hours and blow off steam by mocking how fancy those slaveholders were in their ball gowns and tuxes, a formality that stood in stark contrast to the abuse that many of those enslaved folks were enduring behind the scenes. Those slave owners eventually saw them doing those dances, not realizing that they were mocking them, and then they would have those enslaved folks do the dances for their entertainment. The best dance would earn the couple a cake, hence the term cakewalk. The terms that takes the cake and it's a piece of cake are also thought to come from this tradition. Something that's easy is described as a cakewalk, not because doing the cakewalk wasn't hard, but because the dancers made it look easy. The term didn't become famous until after slavery ended. Black performers started doing cakewalks as a part of their minstrel acts, but the irony is that this led to white performers incorporating the cakewalk into their routines as well. Oftentimes they do it in blackface. So it was white performers parodying black performers parodying white people. One of the most famous blackface performers was actually a black man named Burt Williams. He, along with his partner George Walker, was eventually invited to perform his act for royalty in England. The popularity of the cakewalk spread throughout Europe and eventually to South America. It's even thought to have influenced the development of the tango in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Join me on October 15th at Blues Alley in DC. I'll be sharing my music and my thoughts with you. Visit the link in my bio or in the description of this video for tickets.